At Copper vs Glass, me and Barry don't really delve into the world of rooting your device, things like installing Sanage and Mod, and just in general tinkering around with the device in too much detail. Well, that's all about to change, because today I'm going to be showing you guys how you can use the Mac Installer Beta from Sanage and Mod to install Sanage and Mod onto your Nexus 5. Now, this tutorial will work with a large variety of Android devices. You can see the full link of devices that will work over at the Sanage and Mod community page, but Let's take a look now at installing Sanagen Mod on the Nexus 5 using the Mac Installer Beta from Sanagen Mod. Now before you install Cyanogen Mod onto your device, there is a couple of things that we are going to have to do with both the phone and also on the Mac itself. Now so you're going to have to install a couple of things on the Mac and also on the mobile to get everything running. So you want to head over to the Cyanogen Mod Beta Mac Installer community page and then what you want to have to do is join that community and then a link will appear to download the software itself. Now guys, the community here for the Cyanogen Mod Installer and just in general Cyanogen Mod is great. So I'd highly recommend just heading over there if you've got any problems or questions hit those guys up and they'll be able to answer it pretty much instantly so we want to head over to get.cm now all the links for this video will be down in the description below so you want to head over there and it's going to take exactly what you need to do with your device so i've got here my nexus 5 now i have previously backed up what i need like photos and things game saves etc so you want to head into the settings and then you want to go down to where it says security and then you want to have the box ticked for unknown sources. Now the reason for this is because the Cyanogen Mod Installer for the phone side of things was originally in the Play Store but it got pulled and was blocked. So you do need to uh, enable unknown sources so that you can actually install the installer onto your device. So you want to go on to Chrome or whatever web browser it is you're using on your phone and go to get.cm and then click go. And then all you're going to have to do is just click on the download button and wait for the software to install. And once that's done, go to your notifications or your downloads, click on the link and then do install. And then it's going to just install the software. You want to then click open and it's going to guide you through just a couple of things in terms of what you need to do with the software itself on the phone side of things. Now it's going to give you a welcome to what you're going to be doing with Cyanogen Mod. And it's also going to give you some warning information. Now that's why I mentioned to do a backup guys, because if there are any problems that happen with your device, then it can go wrong and it can take some doing to get it back to where you need it to. Obviously this guide that I'm doing for you guys is to help you guys out. I can't be held responsible unfortunately for if anything does happen to your device. But if it does and you've got any questions then be sure to obviously send them my way and then I can answer as many as I can. So what you want to do is enable USB debugging. So obviously we're going to be installing this using the USB cable straight to the computer. So you want to go into developer options and then head right down to where it says enable USB debugging. And once you're done what you then need to do is head back over to your computer. What you then want to do is launch the installer itself. I've had mine saved to the desktop here, but obviously just double click on it wherever you've got it saved. And then it's as simple as following the instructions that you see on the screen. So it's saying here that you need to plug in your USB into the device. And what it's then going to do is going to auto detect your device itself. Now you do have to do a couple of things on your phone itself by just allowing it to get access to the computer so that it can transfer files between the two. Um, so obviously you're going to get this message here. And then all you want to do is allow USB be debugging and then just click on yes and always remember the computer so obviously if you have any problems and you need to plug it back in it's going to remember the settings that you've already got then what it's going to do is download the specific software for your chosen device. So I'm going to be using the Nexus 5, but this will work with most Android devices. You can get a full list of the devices over at Sound Engine Mod. Um, obviously, I'll put full links in the description down below for all the information that I'm going through today. So obviously, if you do have any problems, you're going to have all the information down there. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to let this run its course now, and I'll be back with you guys once we are at the install process. And then once you are done, the software is just going to bring up a box that's going to then say install. Now again, it's going to tell you the device of what it's detected and the software that is downloaded. And it's also going to give you the warning information that it has gone through previously. So all you want to do at this point now is just to click on the install. Now see, there are a couple of things that you have to do on the phone itself. Now it's not as complicated as rooting your device was previously because it does guide you through everything really easy and really simple. But you're going to have to do a couple of things on your phone using the volume buttons and also the power buttons which we will get to right now so obviously it's going to then say that I need to continue the instructions on my phone so what you need to then do is on this 
portion here, you just want to click on yes because you need to unlock the bootloader so it can obviously install Cyanogen mod and do what it needs to do basically. Um, so again you're just going to click on the volume up button and then on the power button which is how you select things. When you're in things like recovery mode and things like that you use the buttons for the volume and also the power to select things and toggle between different items. Now at this stage you don't need to do anything else with the phone, obviously what it's going to do now is just select a couple of things for you and then it's going to start to install CyanogenMod on your device, you can see here that it's now installing CyanogenMod, and if I go over to my phone you can see that it's rebooting with the Google logo, it's saying that the phone is currently locked while it's doing something, and you can see that the new CyanogenMod logo to tell you that it's installing CyanogenMod on the phone. Now it's not going to be the most recent version of CyanogenMod because as I mentioned previously it installs the most stable version version available for your phone at the time but you will be getting updates just like a regular phone so it will notify of when there are newer stable versions that you can upgrade to. Once the installation process is complete you will see here the CyanogenMod boot up screen. Now you see that there's an LED on the bottom but don't worry about it that is a feature of CyanogenMod saying that my phone is plugged in on charge and it has a 100% battery. So as you can see here now the software itself says that the setup is complete. Thanks for installing CyanogenMod and that's it guys you're pretty much done. You have to go through a simple setup process much like when you get a brand new phone but overall it's very quick and very easy to do. And that's pretty much going to do it guys, like I say it's a very simple installation guide, if you've got any questions or comments do leave them down below this video, also I'm just going to show you here that if I go into about phone it's going to show you that I'm running the latest version of the stable build of CyanogenMod version 11. So like I say guys I'm going to be testing out CyanogenMod, giving you guys my thoughts and opinions probably in the next 3-4 to four days and then I will also be doing a video of how to go back to stock which is arguably the harder part of the whole process. So guys I'm Michael from Copper vs Glass, this has been a quick look at the Mac installer for CyanogenMod and I will catch you guys in the next video.